this video we will be tackling two methodologies of slicing samples in Renoise. Uh, one by slicing samples within the sample window and the other by using slice command. Go ahead and start slicing a break in the sample window. That's a break I'm going to use. First thing I'm going to do, uh, just because it's a break, is that I'm going to conform it to my BPM, which is 180 right now. Now, to do this, it's pretty simple. There's about 32 notes in this break. I'm going to set my beat sync to 32, turn it on. If you want to make this, this transpose permanent, click on the transpose button here, and it'll set your, your transpose that permanently. I'm just going to turn on. It sounds like uh, transposed to my 180B. So let's go ahead and start slicing up samples. There's a sample tool right here. Click on that. And we can start slicing all the drum samples that I want. I have my, my key zone set to drum kit and starts from. Uh, C to 4. You can set that down to whatever you want, whatever you're comfortable with. For example, I can press drum kit here and it will start distributing samples from. I don't want that. I'm going to put it back to. Keep going. So, it actually gives you the whole sample on the first octave you set. That's the sample right here. And then the second, and then the first actual a slice starts from the next note. So that's here. And then now C sharp doesn't play the whole sample anymore. It just triggers that in one slice. Then E continues from the rest. Of Zoom in to get a better get to adjust our sample better. Uh, if you want a keyboard shortcut and you want to keep the regular cursor around, and I can use Control K to make a sample to make a slice instead. Now, you can, if you don't want to go through the trouble of slicing all the samples yourself, you can make Renoise just do it for you. There's an auto slice uh, button right here. And it'll, for the most part, do a good job. Sometimes it doesn't get everything completely right. Uh, you can adjust the uh, detection. Here. Now you make it more fine tuned or a bit more laid back. In any case, so these are the slices we're going to work with, and that corresponds to each note. So you can start just playing out notes on your field.
that's that sounds like a pretty cool break. Uh, so that's how you slice your samples. Uh, but there's a different methodology. You can do a distinct traditional tracker way with slice command. Uh, I hope everyone knows what the uh, effect commands are. Need a reminder? Just go down here and kind of remind yourself what in, what they are. We're going to be using the slice command, which is the S command. So how this works, and I'll back up here. This is another track I made using slice sample with me. So go back to, to the sample here. This is if you want to keep it rhythm and you don't want to slice everything notice how the timeline of the sample at the top here this is all in hexadecimal format just like everything else in the track in the tracker so let's say i wanted to trigger this sample this little drum sample here so that's at the 20 hexadecimal so i go here Play out my sample here. Use S two zero. When you're putting in samples, uh, if you're, when you're putting in commands, usually it'll just go to the next line like that. Uh, if you want tracking, if you want uh Renoise to not do that, press the Shift key, and you can stay in the same line. And then that, and then the sample is triggered from that hexadecimal line. So from there, you can just build out your whole break. This. That's how you can make your own your own little drum. And that's what I did this sequel. I'm gonna pull out this sample window in so you can see how the commands trigger the samples at different times. And then the mythology where you use the slices, I'll demonstrate that too. So that's the two methodology you can you can use to slice samples. Both ways will give you different results and different workflows, but you know, mix and match and use what you prefer.